I'm Lawson with AM Electronics. I'm here with NASA Speed News. I'm here with Brett and Herb, and we are installing our CD5 logging GPS enabled dash into a ZL1 Camaro. We're going to use the OBD2 CAN data for the initial data set. Uh, we'll be using the GPS for vehicle speed, uh, but more importantly, that allows you to track map and do lap timing when you're in the vehicle. Uh, the dash also has the ability to log all of those channels and it's expandable through CAN bus modules, scandal and all that. But um, really why we're here is uh, Herb's a perfect example of somebody who's doing HPVE, he's getting more serious about racing and being competitive. So the next evolution of that is being able to take a look at what he's doing out on the track uh, from a data analysis standpoint and start to look for those tenths of seconds in the data. Um, the great thing about the CD5 dash is, uh, again, we have a, this is our five inch version. We also have a seven inch, which is a lot larger, um, larger diagonal display, but it's a full color dash. It's fully programmable and customizable. But if you're just getting started, this is really the last dash you're ever gonna need. Um, it's, it's got a great entry level price point and it's super easy to install. I'm gonna show you that now. We're gonna uh, temporary mount this and to do that, we've made a ram mounts adapter bracket that you put on the back of the dash. We're gonna screw that in. And when we're ready, we'll go ahead and mount the adapter bracket to the arm and suction cup that will attach on the windshield that we purchased off of uh, Ram Mount's website. But then to do the physical installation of the dash uh, and the wiring, the real complex wiring, we've got our uh, harness that plugs into the back of the dash when I click it in the right way. And now we have two input cables. One is what we call AEM net CAN bus. You can tell that's a four pin DTM style. And we have our CAN2 input, which is a two pin DTM style. So for the OBD2 connection, we have a pass through OBD2 plug and a two pin connector that goes into the CAN2. This we're gonna install into the OBD2 port on the ZL1. And then for power, because we want to be able to take this in and out, we make a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter style adapter harness. And that has a four pin connector that connects to AEM net. Now, because we need to mark the start stop finish line on a track to do, lap, uh, to do track mapping, we also wired in a momentary switch to uh, the wire on the harness and then bundled it together with the, uh, with the power harness so that when Herb's out on the track and he gets to the start stop, he'll press the button. That tells the GPS where the start finish line is and once he takes a lap, he'll be able to create the track map and AEM data. We'll show you how easy that is in a minute. From there, uh, we plug in our GPS antenna installs back here, which I've got big fingers. I should have installed that before. Alright, there we go. And then for data, we've got a USB port here. With all of our logging dashes, we provide an IP67 rated cable for USB. So this will connect to the back of the dash here. We lock that in. And once it's locked in, it's watertight. And then for permanent mount installations, this comes with a little nut screw. So you can actually tap a hole somewhere in your dash, push this through, screw it into place and now when you need your data you never have to reach around the back of the dash to get your data uh, but from here we're good to go we, so we'll take our gps antenna we'll put that on top of the vehicle we'll plug our obd2 can adapter uh, cable plug and play adapter cable into the obd2 port on the zl1 
and we'll power it up from the 12 volt adapter plug and play cable that we make. Um, we will mount this RAM ball to the arm and we're fully installed. From there, we just pull the data port. We take those uh, OBD2 channels, bring them into Dash Design software. We've already got templates, so most of that stuff will transfer to our templates, but we'll do a little bit of configuration to make sure that we have all the channels on the Dash that we want to see. We'll set some alarms uh, and some warnings. Uh, we'll set the shift lights, and we're ready to go racing. So really in under 15, 20 minutes max, uh, you can be out racing and logging, uh, getting usable data and going faster with a CD Carbon Digital Dash.